Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Mike Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to create 3D text with a highlight using GIMP. I'm using GIMP version 2.10.30 which is the latest version of GIMP at the time of this tutorial. Before I get into that guys, don't forget to check out my website at daviesmediadesign.com. You can enroll in my GIMP 2.10 Masterclass from Beginner to Pro Photo Editing on Udemy. And you can get more by becoming a DMD Premium member and I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. I do have a help article version of this tutorial up on my website. You can check it out and it's available in 30 plus languages. Here is the final composition we'll be creating for today's tutorial. As you can see, we have some nice 3D text with a highlight going on. So let's dive right in here. We can start by creating a new document and we can do that hitting Control N on the keyboard. You can also go to File, New. And I'll go with 1920 by 1080 and click OK. By default, our background color will be whatever our background swatch is set up as here. I do want to use a color palette for this tutorial, and don't worry, it is a built-in color palette, so you don't have to download anything. To open up GIMP's color palettes, we'll go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and come down here to Palettes. And I have GIMP in single column mode here for the tools, so my palettes popped up over here, and also my tool options are going to be over here on the right side. But all I have to do to reposition these is click and drag this dialog. And I'm just going to reposition this so it's right next to my document history and release. And here is the palette I want to use for this tutorial. It's called gray blue. And to open this up, I'm going to double click on it. And that'll open up my palette editor here. And again, I do want this to be over here. So I'll just click and drag this over to the right and release my mouse. Now that we have our color palettes over here, next I'm going to add text to my composition. And to do that, I'll grab the text tool from the toolbox and I'll click on my composition. And with the caps lock key on, I'll type GIMP and I'll hit control A to select all the text. And I do want to change the font here. So let's turn the caps lock key off. And I know the name of my font is going to be Barlow. And I believe it's the Barlow Condensed Heavy Italic. And the font is also very small right now. So what I'll do is come over here and increase the size of this to 750. Hit the enter key. And finally, I'm going to hover over the first tool group and grab the alignment tool. And I'll click on the text there and just align this. And now we're nice and center aligned here on the composition. So let's start to get some of the colors correct here. Let me just first start off by grabbing the move tool. So the background, I want to be a darker color. Right now it's white. So what I'll do is come over here to one of these dark blue colors and just click and drag this swatch directly from the palette editor onto the canvas here. And now we have a nice dark background. And then for the text color, I'll go with like a uh, lighter green. So I'll come back to the text. If I hit the T key, I can grab the text tool. We're going to click on the text box and hit Control A to select everything. And now we're just going to click and drag a nice light color here and that's going to update the color of our text. Once our text is the color we want, I'll come over here to the layers panel and I'm just going to duplicate our text layer twice. So I'll hit this little duplicate icon. I'm just going to reorder the layers here so that they go in order. So we'll have GIMP, GIMP number one and GIMP number two. On the GIMP number two layer, we're going to add our first long shadow. So to do that, I'll go to filters light and shadow, long shadow. So here's where we're going to get a majority of our 3D effect. And what I'll do is drag and drop a new color for the long shadow itself. So let's go with a slightly darker blue here. So I'm going to drag this onto the color box here. And we're going to use this primarily for the shadow part of our long shadow, the shadowy part of the 3D text. You can play around with these settings here if you want to, but I'm going to leave these the same. If you do change these settings, just remember the angle and the length that you set for this. It will matter in the next step. So here's a before, here's an after, and I'll click OK. So now we'll come over to the GIMP number one layer, and we're going to hit Control Shift F, which is going to once again bring up the long shadow. You can also go to Filters, Reshow Long Shadow. So you can see there's the shortcut key for that. And this time we're going to go with a lighter blue. So let's come over here and grab a lighter blue from here and drag it onto the color box here. And we're going to change the style from finite, which is what it was set to, to fading fixed length. 
So that's going to allow the color here to fade out. Because it's fading out to a darker color, which we set up here in the last step, that's giving us a shading effect here. So we have a nice shading effect going on now. You can adjust the midpoint of this if you want it to start fading out faster or slower. So choose whatever midpoint you want. So if you did set your own angle and length in the last step, you're gonna enter those numbers right here. You need these two numbers to be the same as the numbers from the last step. And once you're ready, come over here and click OK. Next, we're gonna work on the highlight for our text. And to do that, I'm going to click on the original GIMP text layer. And once again, duplicate this twice. And I'm going to come over here to the GIMP number three layer. And what I'm gonna do is right click and go to discard text information. That's going to convert our text layer to a pixel layer here. And now what we can do is lock that alpha channel of the pixel layer and then just drag and drop the color white onto here. That's gonna change the color of our text to white. So that's just a quick way to change the color of your text. Then we're gonna come up here to GIMP number four and we're gonna grab the move tool. And then we're just going to move this and this is how we're gonna get the highlight. So you can move this as much or as little as you want. I think right there is pretty good. Once you have it in place, you're going to alt click on that GIMP number four layer and that's gonna create a selection around that text you can also come over to Layer, Transparency, Alpha 2 Selection, and you're gonna get that same result. You'll then come over here to the GIMP number three layer, right click, and go to Add Layer Mask. Under Initialize Layer Mask 2, we're gonna choose Selection, and then we're going to invert the mask as well, and we'll click Add. And now if I hide that top GIMP number four layer, all that's left is this little highlight here. So I'll hit Control Shift A to deselect that. And we're gonna click on the actual layer here. So off of the layer mask. And now we can play around with the opacity. So you can make this more opaque or more transparent. So I think right there looks pretty good. And the last step we need to do here is we just need to center everything up because right now it's a little bit off center. Actually, for some of you, this might be how you want it to be centered, centered on the main text and not on the long shadow part. However, if you want to center this on your composition using the entire piece of art, what you can do is come over here and hide the background layer and then go to layer, new from visible. That'll give us a new layer with all the visible elements here that we just had. So let's unhide the background layer. We're gonna hit the Q key on the keyboard to grab the alignment tool. And then click on this visible layer with the alignment tool. And right now the layer is the size of the entire composition. So what we have to do is go to layer, crop to content, and that'll crop that down. So now we'll click on this layer and we're going to align this relative to the first image and we're just going to align center of target as well as align middle of target. And now what you can do is shift click on this. That's gonna hide all the other layers and then unhide the background layer. And now we're gonna have our 3D text aligned if I hit control shift J. So there, as you can see, is our 3D text. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.